It's pizza night in the Piatto kitchen. Take a look at our beautiful sheet pan pizza. So soft inside, with a crispy crust. And what do you think of this boscaiola pizza? With mushrooms and sausage. Would you believe this homemade pan pizza was ready for the oven in just three hours? Want to make this pizza dough at home? Fasten your seat belts, because now we're going to show you exactly how to make a fast pan pizza the Italian way. Here's a quick look at the ingredients with quantities for up to three pizzas. Here we are making three pizzas for our guests. We start by combining the yeast with the water. You can use fresh yeast or dry yeast. Then we add the flour to the water. The first mistake to avoid when making pan pizza is this. Do not use a weak flour for your dough. Many people mistakenly believe that a weaker flour can be used just because a pizza dough will be proofing for just a few hours. But this is not true. Why? Because when choosing flour for making pizza, proof time is not the only consideration. You also need to consider how much water you're adding to the dough, or rather the water to flour ratio, hydration, and you need to consider the temperature that you will be using to proof your pizza dough. For this pizza dough recipe, we'll show you how to get your dough proofing at a higher temperature. Using a weak flour at that temperature would result in a pizza dough that does not hold its shape. So what flour should you choose? The simple answer is to choose a bread flour. Even better, look for a flour that specifies the W, which indicates the strength of the flour. We're looking for a W of 280 to 320 for this pizza dough. To find out what flour we've used in this video, check out the video description, where we share links to the products we are using here. We knead the dough for a brief 10 minutes and transfer the dough to our work surface. On the work surface, we fold the dough, wait 10 minutes, fold the dough again, wait 10 more minutes, and then one final round of folds to give our dough a great shape for its rise. And it's time for the first round of two proofs. As we mentioned, to make a homemade pizza dough this good in just three hours, we have to control the temperature of the dough as it rises. So if you have a proofing box, set the temperature to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a proofing box, use this little trick. Turn your oven off, then fill a bowl with hot water and put it together with your dough into the oven. This will give you a temperature of roughly 82 degrees Fahrenheit for the duration of your proof. And look how the dough has doubled in size after proofing it for about an hour. And now we're just cutting our dough into three pieces. You can fold the dough just as we are showing here. First fold the dough into a letter Then a book. And then seal the seam of your dough. Easy but effective. and it's time for another two hour proof. We'll be using the same temperature as before to proof and using our oven as a proofing box. And here they are, beautifully leavened.
And now we stretch our pizza dough the way Italians do anytime they are making a pan pizza. This is not a classic Neapolitan pizza, where we are looking for a big outer crust. Instead, it's the opposite. The edges of the pizza should be a touch shorter or about the same size as the rest of the pizza. How do we do this? We push down the outer edges of the dough. Then we play the piano inside, using our fingertips to push down as if we were making a focaccia. We flip our dough and do the same thing. And now we just need to stretch the dough to the shape of our pan. To stretch, pull from the edges, never from the center. Our pan pizza is ready to be topped. We start by making a simple, classic pizza margarita. To make the sauce, we just need sweet tomato puree, a bit of salt, and olive oil and fresh basil. We're cooking it at the highest temperature that our oven allows, 572 Fahrenheit, for 9 minutes, or 500 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. And while that pizza is in the oven, we'll prepare another classic pizza, boscaiola, with mushrooms and sausage. Same temperature, same bake time. When the margarita is out, we finish it off with fresh mozzarella, cut into strips, and pop it back into the oven, this time on fan or convection, if your oven allows it, for three minutes. This will help our crust crisp up. A few fresh basil leaves on top. In theory, we should get this to our guests. But mamma mia! Anyway, we still need to finish off our boscaiola pizza. And a bit of lovely prosciutto to top it off. And this pizza is ready to eat as well. So inviting. I need to confess that this pizza is so good it was really hard to get the sequence taped. Our tummies were so impatient. And if you liked this video or learned something new, click the thumbs up and let us know how your authentic Italian pan pizza turned out in the comments. Happy pizza making and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recipes like this from Italy and beyond. Buon appetito!